Trump is expected to be in town for an event at Madison Square Garden. A lot of parents may not be aware, but there is a new safety requirement when putting babies and toddlers in cars for travel. CBSN New York's Jennifer McLogan reports today from Mineola. New York becomes only the 10th U.S. state to pass the child safety seat law. It goes into effect today. Emergency room doctors are adamant the law should be nationwide. Lauren Paterno is mom to two-year-old Hudson, who now, by law, must be buckled into a rear-facing car seat. Hudson weighs less than 40 pounds and is shorter than the 49 inches requirements for his seat, so he may stay rear-facing for another year at least. It just gives me a sense of relief. Just as a parent, I want to make sure that my child is safe and I know rear-facing rear is best. The new law seeks to better protect vulnerable babies and toddlers who often have disproportionately large and heavy heads and are at risk for serious head, neck, and spinal injuries when thrown forward in forward-facing car seats. With the uh, infant, two years and under, they have a slightly larger head compared to their body, which, although it makes them quite adorable, also puts them at an increased risk for the instability. The numbers of crashes that children were involved in last year, staggering. The latest statistics show more than 4,000 children were killed or injured in crashes in New York State. 25% of those injured were not in rear-facing seats, and 33% of the children who died were in no restraints at all. AAA says a lot of work still to be done to get parents to comply. Fussy babies and toddlers who want to see mom and dad, but experts say that is far less important than keeping children safe. From NYU Winthrop in Mineola, Jennifer McLogan, CBSN, New York. All right, look at this. Isn't this beautiful?